Sean Spicer stopped and he introduced uh, Michael Flynn, National Security Advisor, and uh, the general uh, laid, laid it on the line about Iran and said, we're putting Iran on notice after he read a litany of violations, including an intercontinental ballistic missile test. And he said Obama has ignored all this or did ignore all this. And he ended by saying, we're putting Iran on notice. And he turned and he walked out. I mean, that is powerful stuff. You know, leadership, there are so many people who are people of action and authority who take cues from their leader. Okay, Because Trump behaves like that, he's completely violated every rule of go slow diplomacy, babbly talk. That gives license to all these guys who are great leaders to do the same. I mean, and if you look at all the issues that got him elected, of course, I, I continue to contend the promise to conservatives of the court, yep. conservatives, who that turned out people who were, weren't necessarily for Trump. But the number one, two, and three issues were the economy, immigration, and security. They're all intertwined. Are, 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 they're absolutely inextricably intertwined. And he's dealing with all of them. And the how we let the Middle East get as out of control as it is, is sort of shocking. I mean, he's, he's harkens back to a, there's just, no, I can't say anything bad. I want to say something. I don't want to sound like a groupie here, but I'm turning into one. It's just stunning what he's getting done and his people are getting done. And because they're doing it in with such authority and a mandate and complying with what the voters have asked for, they're, it's, it's a complete breakthrough to a new kind of politics we haven't seen since our founding.